This is LXBN TV, and I'm Colin O'Keefe. As part of our interview series on what a second term for President Barack Obama means for various areas of the law, I'm speaking with Stephen Burke of Burke Law in Washington, D.C., and his blog, The Corporate Observer. Stephen, first, do you expect to see more financial regulation coming in Obama's second term? And if so, any specifics? Uh, uh, good, good morning or good afternoon, Colin. Um, it's been, it was a late night for us here in Washington, so I may be a bit tired. Um, well, of course. Um, you know, of course. I think that the two things that we, you should be looking at is, one, the Consumer Finance Protection Board, uh, CFPB. Um, that's a Dodd-Frank reform. Um, it's an agency that is new. Um, and then I think in a second administration, it's going to be a very active um, uh, um, tool to protect consumers. Uh, I know specifically they're working on the arbitration issue, which is something that's very important. Um, the Supreme Court, in a case called Concepcion, um, found that arbitration provisions are valid and put them in all, and they were then placed in a myriad of consumer contracts. And I think the CFPB is going to be looking at that issue and may make some um, major decisions now that the election is out of the way. Mm -hmm. Those arbitration agreements are big, of course. I see them nowadays in, in almost everything you sign up for, it seems, that you know, you're waiving your right to class action and, and are now binding into uh, arbitration if something comes up. So what else stood out to you following yesterday's election as potentially having an impact on the financial industry? Well, you know, the, 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 the financial services companies poured in probably tens of millions of dollars into a race in Massachusetts where um, Elizabeth Warren, the Harvard law professor, uh, defeated Scott Brown. Um, um, Senator Brown was a darling of the uh, financial services industry. And let us say that Elizabeth Warren is not. And so they're going to be quite concerned about the kinds of things that she brings to Washington. Um, she's a very formidable person. And uh, I think we're going to see legislation, um, various ideas that will come out of her um, Senate office um, as soon as she's um, sworn in. Mm -hmm. Definitely. She was somebody that I believe was almost uh, the CFPP, CFPB director herself, and ended up being Richard Cordray. So we'll see what role she has in regulating the, the uh, financial services industry from this role versus the one she almost served in. So it'll be interesting to watch to see how that plays out. Well, that, that's exactly right, Colin. Once again, that was Stephen Burke of The Corporate Observer. For more of his insight, be sure to visit thecorporateobserver.com, an excellent publication. And for more curated commentary on the election, Visit LXPN's dedicated Election 2012 section by searching Election 2012 on LXPN.com and then just clicking on that tag. Thanks, Steve. Thank you, Colin.